It's been tradition in Italy not to eat meat until Christmas Day. But nowadays, more and more families seem to be preparing a roast for Christmas Eve. And I've chosen to do a long, slow braised pork shoulder. And I'm serving it with some colored roasted Christmas veggies. It starts off with two things. Good seasoning, followed by a good sear. This is what we chefs like to call highly seasoned. Now for a good searing in olive oil and a little butter. And the idea behind the searing is it gives great caramelization of color, depth of flavor. And I love those little sticky bits that end up on the bottom of the pan that help the sauce become really rich and dense. Look at that. Now that is a good searing. Now for a little more flavoring. Crushed garlic. Wonderful fragrant rosemary. And some earthy sage. Just let those flavors come out before we add a good hit of white wine. That sounds really good. And just the color and the aroma coming out of this pot right now. It's amazing. Now, milk and cream, like I promised. In goes the milk and that lovely rich cream. Come un fiore si apre al mattino, attira il mondo, luce gli sguardi. The idea of using milk and cream when cooking a pork dish like this. One, it adds richness of flavor. Two, the lactic acids within the milk and cream help tenderize. Time for the lid to go on. Down to a gentle simmer. And pretty much my work is done. Time to grab a glass of wine and prepare a few Christmas veggies. This looks so good. Gently take the pork out of its Milky bath. Just let that relax. Under some tented foil, whilst we get under the sauce. But before we do that, I gotta show you the curd that has happened within the pot. Look at that. And it's that curd that I'm going to transform into delicious, silky smooth sauce to be served with a pork roast. Remove a few of these stalks from the herbs. Many families will just serve that curd right over the sliced pork as it is. I like to pour it all into a blender and buzz it up into a really tasty, smooth sauce. And have a quick taste. That is good. Really rich, really intense. 
and magically the seasoning is spot on. Sauce is ready. Let's plate this up. Now I know this pork is super, super tender, just because of the long, slow cooking it's had. So a little gentle on the slicing. You can see how moist it is. Fall apart tender. Serving platter. All this needs now are my roasted root vegetables. Look at these roasted carrots, chestnuts, cipollini onions, and a few apples. Delicious things to go with a roast pork. drizzle of this delicious creamy sauce. And of course, a little extra, always on the side. Just looking at that pork, you can tell how tender it is. Literally melts in my mouth. Mm. Sticky roasted chestnut. Mm. Simple ingredients prepared well. It's the perfect way to celebrate any Christmas.